Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial on asset groups. I'll show you how to leverage this flexible, real-time, and dynamic feature to accomplish more with VRX. Navigate over to the Asset Management page. Click Create Group. Name the group and select your filters. I'll start by filtering for workstations. From here, you can create and use dynamic group properties by selecting aspects such as risk level, as well as the status of the workstation server. Any future asset that fits these parameters will be automatically added to the selected group. You can also create a group based on an existing subnet or organizational unit in your environment. Groups can be used all over the platform in helpful ways. Starting from the dashboard, we can use the asset group filter to gain a specific understanding of the Windows 10 asset applications that exist in the group we created earlier. We can also use groups to apply updates and automate actions in a streamlined manner. Let's go to the patch management page. Here we can filter for patches that are available for assets in that group. There's more. We can also manage the shared asset groups within Teams. Let's navigate to Settings, User Management, select the Teams tab, and choose a team. Here we see users and asset groups. Click Manage and select the asset groups to share. I hope you will have fun experimenting with asset groups in your environment. Ciao!